Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. As you can see from the title and the thumbnail, this is something that's pretty unexpected. It's something that I honestly wasn't planning on doing, but after seeing how much traction it gained on Instagram, seeing how many of you guys DM me wanting a story time on this, I was like, you know what, you guys deserve to know the full story. I didn't just want to leave y'all hanging, so I decided to sit down, make a video on it, and tell you guys to give you an example of like how much traction it gained on instagram i was just average like 15 to 20 thousand views when you posted the picture of me getting arrested and i reposted on my story i was like you know what whatever bro this gained like 50 plus thousand views never seen that many views in my life i was like god like that's kind of crazy and besides that I was getting a new DM like every single minute, every single minute like, oh, what happened? What happened? What happened? Tell us the story. Like, don't leave us hanging. I was like, let me sit down. Let me tell you guys the full story. And yeah, so I'm going to get straight into it. All right, so this happened on Saturday. It's currently a Monday right now. So it happened two days ago. This happened at U of H. So run you guys down to give you all details of everything. Before the game, there's always a tailgate. What a tailgate is, is just people gathering up. A lot of college people, they got their tents. Everybody has their drinks. It's just basically a pregame to the game. It's just people gathering up. They got music. It's kind of like a day club type of vibe type of thing. The whole plan for me that day was I'm gonna go to the tailgate. I have a friend that goes to U of H. He invited me to go. So I was like, why not? So the plan is go to the tailgate and then somehow, somehow, because I didn't have tickets, somehow try to get into the game. This was U of H versus UT. Keep in mind, the tickets were sold out. I was like, I was literally on a mission, bro. Like it was hard to find tickets. So keep this in mind because this is what bothered me the most, bro. The fact that I found tickets and it was for nothing. So basically we go to the tailgate, right? Me and my friend, we're kind of drinking. And then as I'm meeting people, you know, there's people coming up. I'm also, you know, going up to people, just meeting people and stuff. I was asking them, yo, like by any chance, do you have a ticket? Or I was telling them like, yo, are you going to the game? If you're not, like, let me know if, like, I could buy a ticket off of you. The whole time, you know, we were having fun, drinking. This lasted from, like, 12 to 3. And at the end of it, I ended up finding tickets. Two tickets. One for me, one for my friend. So once I got the tickets, right, keep in mind, me and my homeboy, we had gone our separate ways. We're at a tailgate, meeting different people. So I hit him up through text. I'm like, yo, bro, meet me by the stadium. Let's go into the game. I found tickets. So when he comes through, he came with a friend. So, you know, we met, whatever. But... I really didn't know who this person was. And I told him like, yo, I only found two tickets. So like, what are we gonna do? And he told me, I don't know, man, but he's by himself. I don't want to leave him alone. So let's see if we can figure something out. We walk into the stadium. I scan my ticket. All good. My friend, the one who I got the ticket for, he scans his in. We're all good. And then this is where it comes down to the third person, right? I really don't know this guy. First time seeing him. And so me and my homeboy, we're inside the stadium. But we're at a distance watching him, you know, waiting to see if he could figure something out to get in. And he was there for a little minute. I don't know what he was trying to scan in. I could tell he was struggling, bro. You know, he was trying to scan some in. The ladies were telling him, like, it's not good. It's not good. You can't go in. At this time, I think he stood there for like five minutes. And I was still at a distance with my homeboy, just waiting to see if he's going to come in. And I'm telling my friend, bro, I was like, let's just go, man. Like, I didn't know he was coming along, so I only have two tickets. Let's just go, bro. Let's just go. The lady turns around for a little second, and I see the guy that we're waiting for. I see him sprinting, bro. This motherfucker literally started running. And then from there, like, I think there was, like, cops on the sides. So they saw that he was running. This is so stupid, bro. This is so stupid. Like, they saw he was running, right? And as he was running, me and my friend, we, we started walking away. We were like, what, what the fuck? Like, what just happened? But at the same time, we're walking away because, like, we're like, whatever. Let's head into the game then. We're walking. We're walking. We see the cops at a distance. I hear him screaming, like, hey, hey, come here, come here. And they're looking at me. But me being a little intoxicated, I'm like, I'm not too sure they're actually like calling me. Cause you know, I didn't do anything. I scanned my ticket and I'm chilling. They only kept getting louder. They're like, yo, come here. At this point, they're kind of like already walking fast towards me. And I started walking slower to make sure if they're coming to me. And they did. They're like, hey, put your hands behind your back. I'm not gonna lie, I was already a little intoxicated. So I honestly, I wasn't really complying too much. I was telling them like, what are y'all doing? Like, I scanned my ticket in. Can I just go use the restroom real quick? They're like, no, put your hands behind your back. I'm like, I was so mad, bro. I was so mad because I knew that I scanned my ticket in. I knew I did nothing wrong. I didn't know what they were coming at me for. I had nothing to do with what just happened. Like, you literally just got the wrong dude, bro. You got the wrong dude. I'm telling them, like, what are y'all doing, bro? Like, I didn't do anything. Like, I could literally show you my ticket right here, right now. They weren't listening, bro. These guys weren't listening. They're like, I don't care. Put your hands behind your back. At this point, I'm like only getting more mad because I'm like, bro, I'm literally willing to show you the ticket right now. Let me show it to you. They didn't care, bro. At this point, I think they pinned me against the wall. They turned me around. 
and then they just like kind of aggressively put the handcuffs on me. I don't even know who took this video, right? But I'm gonna pop up a little video right here. Bro, send it to me, second, send it to me, second. You can record, I don't want to So at this point, that's when they put me in handcuffs. I'm like, whatever. I was already quiet. I was waiting for them to take me, you know, somewhere to have a talk, whatever it was. And so they took me outside. They took me outside. My friend was with me the whole time. They didn't handcuff him. They didn't do anything to him. So I was kind of surprised. But I was telling the cop the whole time, like, yo, like, what are y'all doing? Like, I, I could literally, I'm literally trying to show you my ticket. What are y'all doing? I just scanned it in. I even told him, like, yo, we could go up to the lady that scanned me in so you can see that, like, I'm not good, like what are y'all doing? At this point, the cops not even listening, bro. He was like, you're gonna go to jail. I'm like, for what? Yeah, I can't do shit, I, I didn't do anything. He was like, you're gonna go to jail. So whatever, they sat me down outside for like 10, 20 minutes. Not 20 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes. They sat me down outside, 10 or 15 minutes. They started asking my friend for identification, this and that. And as they were like, you know, as time went by, I felt like I only kept getting more angry. Cause like, I'm just trying to watch the game, bro. It took me forever to find these tickets. And you got me out here wasting my time. You literally just got me out here for nothing. I didn't do anything. I keep trying to tell you, like my tickets right here. And then my homeboy kept trying to show them his ticket too. And they weren't complying. All right, so the, the ticket that I got from my friend was literally this. It was a screenshot of a phone of the ticket. <laughs> but keep in mind, this was valid. He still went in. And then when he showed them this to the cops, they started clowning him, bro. They're like, that's not even a ticket, that's a picture of a ticket. And then he was like, bro, but this is what got me through, it's valid. And like, bro, they were literally just clowning his ass. They weren't even taking him serious. They just started clowning at him. And then I kept trying to tell him, all right, cool, like, let me show you my ticket. And they weren't even listening. So at this point, I just got even angrier, bro. They told my friend, hey, like, show proof of identification. This is where, like, I was sitting down, I had the cuss behind me. When I heard him say that, bro, I, I just remember, like, I stood up because of, like, just how mad I was. I stood up. I was like, bro, don't show them nothing. They can't do shit to you. We haven't done anything. That's how mad I was. Like, I was already kind of cussing at this point. They're just having an ego trip, bro. This guy knows that he got the wrong people and he wants to keep us there. He wanted to keep adding reasons on top of that as to, like, why he was going to take me to jail. He was like, I'm going to take you to jail. Like, I don't even remember much of what he was saying. I feel like the only words coming out of his mouth were, I'm going to take you to jail. What could you possibly take me to jail for? I know that I didn't do anything wrong, and I'm trying to show you that I have my ticket. I'm literally trying to give you every single reason. So at this point, he was like, oh, I'm going to take you for public intoxication. That's how he said it. Like, he literally thought about it for a bit. He was like, oh, I'm going to take you for public intoxication. I'm like, bro, what are you saying? Like, we're at a tailgate, which is literally like a pregame for the game. There's like not a sober person in sight, like literally everywhere in front of you, not a single sober person in sight. And at this point, I'm already in the stadium. They sell drinks at the stadium. Not only that, but it's like, I didn't necessarily cause a scene or do anything stupid for them to want to handcuff me. The only reason I'm in handcuffs is because you mistook me for somebody else. At the end of it all, he had me sitting there for a while. He was like, we're gonna wait for the cops to come. I'm like, whatever, let them come then. Let them come, you can't do anything to me. I know you're in the wrong and you just don't want to admit it. I could just tell this cop was like on an ego trip. You got the wrong person. You know you're in the wrong and you don't want to admit it. It hurts you. It hurts you. All right. Ten minutes passed by. He's telling me, all right, we're going to let you guys go. We're going to walk you out, but I want you out of here. I'm like, for what, man? Like, I, I paid to get these tickets. I only paid like 10 bucks, right? Whatever. But like, the tickets were sold out. Like, that's not what hurt me. The thing is, I'm just trying to watch the game. I'm just trying to catch a vibe. Like, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not harming anybody. I'm not causing a scene. But he's telling me, we're going to let you go. But we're going to walk you out. And I want you out of here. Y'all can't come back for the day. Just made me more mad, man. It just made me more mad. First of all, you put me in handcuffs for no reason. Second of all, you can't admit that you're in the wrong. Third, you kicked me out when I'm literally showing you the ticket. I'm not causing the scene. I had literally just walked in, bro. I had just walked in and you kicked me out. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much the story. I know a lot of y'all think that I got jumped because we were just messing around. The guys, they put catches on the stories where they were like, they were talking about they, they were going to put a bounty on the head of whoever jumped me and stuff like that. No, I didn't get jumped. I didn't get harmed. We were just trolling on the internet. We were, the guys were, the guys just saw the picture of me handcuffed and they were having fun with it on Instagram. Also keep in mind, I don't know who took that picture. I don't know who took the videos. These were just like random people that were there. They snapped the pic and they sent it to a friend of mine. I feel like it was an embarrassing situation. I feel like it was unnecessary. So ever since we posted the pictures on Instagram, my stepdad gave me a call. He was like, man, if I was in your position, I would sue these guys. You know, cause they're putting in handcuffs for no reason. My brother too, he's telling me you should sue them because what they did was wrong. That honestly just happened in the moment. 
and I was pretty mad about it, but I didn't think too much of it. I was like, whatever, it happened. It kind of just flew over my head. So let me let me know what you guys think. If you know, I should I should sue the cop or something, take some type of legal action. Personally, I don't care too much, but personally, I'm kind of like stuck in between if I should or if I shouldn't. I knew that this guy was abusing his power this whole time. So it's like, if he did something like that to me, how many other people has he done it to? or how many other people is he gonna do it to. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Sorry to disappoint, I know a lot of y'all thought I got jumped. Like I said, sorry to disappoint. I know this is not what some of y'all expected, but for the people that really wanted to know, that's basically what happened. I felt like it was an unfair situation. It was disappointing, honestly. So let me know your thoughts on the comments down below. A lot more videos to come soon, man. A lot of you know, more challenge videos, vlogs. If you got any ideas of things I should do, let me know, or if y'all would like me to film the next tailgate so y'all can see what be going down at the tailgate at the game or something love you guys if you made it this far comment down copy emoji right here l cop by the way let me know your thoughts in the comments down below god bless you and we'll see you on the next one peace i got my glock out hey.